So this is a Mini, we've got in for a Rolling Road Dyno. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through a few things. First problem is the carburetors. One carburetor is opening before the other. Let's just adjust that. So they are now adjusted, so they both open at the same time. Just by slacking off these nuts at the side, you can adjust the linkage so that it opens both carbs at the same time. I've just taken the dash pot off this carburetor, and that's about the right position for the jet, which is the center part of this brass section. Should be about one and a half mil down from the outer section. So just a bit more information about carb uh, types and mixture adjustment. This is an HIF type carburetor and the mixture adjustment is this screw here. This is just an idle mixture. The needle is, is where the mixture is throughout the rev range. This is just a carb body. So we can see this is the mixture screw. And as I turn that mixture screw, you should see the jet is rising and sinking. Ideally, your jet should be at about that height. So just a little bit down from the sleeve that it runs up and down in. Mixture adjustment on the HS type carb is this brass nut. So by winding this brass nut up, the jet will either, I can see if I move the choke, the jet will slide up and down. Again, you want to set this mixture so that it's about one millimeter down uh, from the top of the sleeve, the brass sleeve that it slides in. And that should be a good starting point. Then you just want to turn the mixture, make it slightly richer or slightly leaner and see whether the idle speed picks up. If it picks up, then you're going in the right direction. Uh, you can check the idle speed with the timing gun that has a RPM display on it. And usually a, a turn or half a turn from where it's set there, you'll find that it idles happily and it's smooth. You can't hear any misfiring and that'll be the idle mixture set. Lots of different sizes, four needles, uh, different measurements along this section of the needle give different mixture reading, readings. Uh, you can get one of these SU needle charts. That will list uh, fixed, floating, 90 and 100 thou jets, depending on what you've got in your car. And then if you have a mixture reading of a known needle you can see uh, where you need to go to make it richer in certain areas by the dimensions on this book uh, and that should make the tuning a bit easier. So I've just rotated the cylinder by slapping off that pinch bolt. You can hear that the idle speed has decreased and the timing is now around 12 degrees I think. So this is slightly easier to see on this car, the distributor. So this is the vacuum unit. If you've got a vacuum unit when you're setting the timing, you just need to pull that pipe off uh, and that will reduce the vacuum advance. So when you're setting the timing, uh, it will be at uh, a full load type timing setting. When you connect that back on afterwards, you'll see that the timing marks change because that will be advancing. That's a good way to check that this unit is still working. So again, if you want to advance the timing, you turn the distributor clockwise. And if you want to retard it, turn it anti-clockwise. And the screw that holds it, you can see this one has 
a spanner on it at the moment. That's a pinch bolt. This is an A plus engine. There may be a different configuration around the block area here uh, of a clamp which holds the base of the distributor. We'll use the snap on timing on it and run through the timing. thin down the needle uh, so if you've got a floating needle you can use an old valve guide with a seal you just push it in the seal and then run it in the drill like that hold some tape on there to thin that down obviously you need to know exactly where to thin it down this is really top end mid-range and around idle um, I've been doing it for quite a few years, so I'm quite comfortable doing this. And obviously I can check what I've done once I've made an adjustment to the needle with the rolling road. So I'm just going to make this a little bit thinner with some tape. And then finish off what I've done with some finer tape. And that should be just enough to make the mixture change that I'm requiring. 